Hello everyone, my name is Denis Vasiliev. I'm a pastor in Odessa, Ukraine. And um, as you know, 11 million people had to leave their homes. Th over 3 million people had to move abroad, mostly they are women and children whose husbands stayed here. And you can imagine how these people feel while their families are torn apart. Um, children and wives worry about their men and uh, these men uh, worry about their wives and children lest uh, someone uh, takes advantage of uh, unprotected women and children and it's needless to say about the situation in uh, Bucha, Kramatorsk, uh, Mariupol and other places you can read about it all on the internet but uh, saying all that uh, I want to say that there's a ray of hope and I want to thank Hannah Chowdhury and the British Asian Christian Association for their financial support. Because of that we were able to help different people who are in different uh, desperate situations. Uh, for example, we being involved in the prison ministry uh, were able to help Christians who are uh, who are imprisoned, who got saved in prison, and uh, or who are on the way to Jesus Christ. There, we bought some food for them, and we preached to them and showed them uh, God's love and God's mercy and God's provision. Uh, another thing we did, we took part in uh, humanitarian aid. Uh, to people in the city of Kharkov, which was badly destroyed, and people there are in a catastrophic situation. We bought some food and joined that aid and made our, our investment into uh, and sent them some food. But that was not the main goal. Uh, our main focus was on Odessa, on elderly people and single mothers, and uh, or sometimes families. Uh, who where parents uh, lost their jobs so what we did we uh, bought different cereals uh, canned meat uh, vegetables oil sugar tea some cookies and we bought it all in bulk for lower prices not retail prices and then we ourselves packaged uh, all those foods into 40 bags 40, <laughs> we began to offer help to people whom we knew and then we also found a group in a social network uh, which that group consists of single mothers and disabled people who needed help and um, some bags we delivered ourselves for example one Christian lady who had a hip fracture and she lives in a home for elderly people she couldn't read even the Bible because her glasses broke long ago and she was so much help thankful to get both food and new glasses but in order to speed up the process we began to invite people to our church uh, place where we kept the bags and when people came we explained to them where this help comes from we we spoke about you um, people uh, from other countries who whose heart uh, is aching for Ukrainians and uh, you want to help and they were moved with this information and we also told them that we are Christians and we, uh, as, as we uh, want to help them with food, uh, God wants to help them to feed their souls. And we witnessed to them, we gave them New Testaments, brochures, flyers, and we invited them to church. Sometimes it was difficult to hear the stories of people who came. Uh, some ladies began to cry, some out of gratitude, others out of despair, because uh, such help uh, is the only thing they can count on. Thank you. 
uh, a young man, Artyom. He looks young and he is well dressed, but he is lost inside because uh, him and his wife both lost uh, jobs in one day and they rent a flat and they have a two year old uh, baby. And uh, he confessed that he felt really uncomfortable because he had never happened to ask for help in his life before. And he, they cannot find another job right now. And another young lady who came, uh, she is a single mother of two children of three and five years old. And she also lost her job. Uh, the only relative she has is a disabled father who lost one arm. Tatiana is another woman of 54. She is retired and she has a miserable pension. But uh, she worked as a cleaner, uh, but now the office is closed and she cannot find a job. So when she came uh, to get uh, help, she didn't even have sugar at home. You can imagine how she lived. And every person is a, is a tragic story. And they are really thankful that we found them and offered them help. So far we have given away 30 bags out of 40. And at least uh, 8 ladies uh, repented in their sins. And several people expressed their desire to come to church this Sunday. But can you imagine... On Friday night, due to the danger of bombing, the city administration announced curfews from Saturday 9 p.m. until Monday 6 a.m. So we had to cancel our church service. And we thought what we could do, and we found a way out. We arranged another special Saturday church service where we invited all those who wanted to come on Sunday. And people came. And some of them got saved, and we prayed for healing for two people. So it was a very good uh, day today. And in conclusion, I want to thank again Hannah Chowdhury, the British Asian Christian Association, and everyone who is involved for your investment into the lives of Ukrainian people. May God bless you all. Thank you.